Hey everybody, it's Text Tuesday. I'm Mark Ladwig. I'm your Jackson tech rep, but I'm also uh, everybody's tech. I'm helping with everything. I thought today, as we're all shut in and everything, I thought this would be a great video to show some people the value of being able to adjust your skates. Um, with Jackson, they use a lot of heat molding, so today I've warmed up this pair of skates, and you can see it's nice and soft, and it's just pliable and flexible. Ooh, a little hot. Uh, I got a skate that's not warm, and so one of the things I was going to show first is um, if you look at the width of the skate, like right about there, see how it's just sitting there, and then see how this skate, same thing, just below the, the mark there. Now this one's not warm, and I'm going to throw it on this foot stretcher. You see, I got my big foot, got my toe splitters, and then lock it in the back to go back out. And. Uh, Set this right here so we can use it as a reference. So this is the cold skate. I'm going to put that one on there. And then this is the warm skate, nice and flexible. Uh, this oven over here, you can see it's about 182. I'm going to turn it off there. So I've got my skate in there. Got it jammed up to the toe on both of them. Now I'm going to tip it forward just a little bit so you guys can see. So I turn these screws, and there's a wedge in there that splits it. So I'm going to turn this one up to about... see it's starting to activate. You can see the skate starting to get wide right here in the ball. Now this is the warm one. Doing that first just because it matters because as it cools down things tend to set. I'm going to make sure the laces are nice and loose in here allowing it to spread. I can see the shape of the boots already changing. I don't know if you can see that on the video. It should be right there. You can see as I put this on it, it's now much more forward as where it's touching the side, you can see back here, touching behind the laces, here I'm just in front of the laces, so I've actually stretched it out quite a bit. I'm going to do the same with the cold one. I'm going to stretch it out to the two mark. It's a little harder on a colder boot. Now, a lot of the new synthetics, they adhere to glues so much better. So just cranking down on a cold boot is usually not going to be able to do anything. And uh, I know a lot of other companies talk about shaping and everything. It's kind of the same word to do the same thing. So right now I'm letting this boot cool down. I'm actually going to even shape it by uh, using the laces and forming the boot around. See how I'm kind of telling the boot as you cool down, I want you to remember this shape. And that's basically all what heat molding is, is just using heat to allow the layers, which have been glued together, to, to slide past each other, and when they cool down, to freeze in place, and to freeze in the shape of the foot that's you. So that's why you can take a boot and customize it to yourself in just a matter of minutes. I had this boot in for about six minutes, and that allowed it to warm up, get all the synthetic fibers all stretched out. And as you can see, I've got them both to about two on the stretcher, but because this one's warm, it's wider than that one. There you go. And you can see it both kind of stretched out. This one you can see is not as much. This one's really, it's got an, at least a little eighth of an inch extra for the foot. So usually I'd let that cool down overnight. Don't really have that in a short little YouTube video. So we're just gonna take it off right now. Um, you could leave it overnight, like I said, on the cool one, but it's not going to make much of a difference. Um, heating a boot always makes the difference. You can see it went right back to the shape that it was. It's not like up here, wind widened out. It's down there. So even though this has only been on a few minutes, I'm going to undo that, just allow it to sit in there. Take this one back off. Mm. See that one? It's already wider. You can see you're looking at the top of them. This is the one over here. Actually, I'll hold it like this because that's the way they were on there. You can see the width of that one so much wider than the one on the foot. Alright, so that's how heat molding can adjust a skate. Now at this point, this is a great time as well. You can get those punch outs. Um, if you have low volume, this is one where you can see. See how I can shape the boot just by using my hands. 
squeezing down on it, squish it out. It's a great time to make those adjustments, uh, widening out the heel. Oftentimes I actually just use fist. Um, insole, like those naviculars, this is a great point to try to shape it out. As you can see, just using my hands. See, I can shape it out. Very nice. All right, well, that's uh, Tech Tuesday. Stay warm. <laughs> uh, if you're using a heat oven, whoo, it's starting to get warm over here. 180 degrees in my garage makes it warm. So stay safe, wash your hands, make sure you're socially uh, distancing so that you're not catching anything. And we'll get through this and get back on the ice. So take care, guys.